Good morning, legends. I'm in North Queensland at the moment, traveling with Travi. Uh, we're heading up to Mushroom Valley, and we're gonna paint the main stage there over the next week, which is gonna be unreal. Uh, but what's even cooler is my mate's gonna fly up for the festival, and then we're gonna stop in along the Great Barrier Reef and do a bit of fishing and diving. Um, and yeah, I guess it's the dream trip, so I figured I might take you along for the ride. So let's get into it. Yo! Well, it's North Queensland, so it's bloody hot. Um, so we're just chilling in the camp throughout the middle of the day. This is our wicked little spot here. Creek behind me, over here. And then up top, right up there is the stage, which uh, we parked ourselves nice and close to. I'm just trying to work out what we're gonna, some shapes that we're gonna cut into the background, which is pretty cool. We can sort of add and remove bits of ply as we need. Um, so we're just getting a bit of a flow for it. mushrooms up is heaps of fun there's so many different textures you can make in them and they kind of all look like coral so yeah, it's trying to find like coral textures that look like mushroom textures and just going really ham and we're just going to keep teching out over the next three or four days this thing's so sick <laughs> so mad <laughs> All right, day three ahead of us, and Johnny Avocado has arrived, which is awesome, because he's gonna help us bring this stage to life. So again, early riser, Trabby's up there now painting, walking up our little path to where the stage is. Here it is behind, that's where the DJs play from. All the performers. And around here is the arena. Where we're at, far out, it's looking awesome. We did a little projecting last night, a couple of new additions. Gee whiz, it's coming alive! Another big day today. He's cooked. Oh, yeah, get it in there. Take it all. How good. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> So I think we've just wrapped up the actual painting of this thing, um, which is awesome because there's still two days to go until the festival. But that's allowing the guys to put up this amazing shade cloth that's gonna go over this space. Uh, so we just wanted to show you what it looks like now because that shade's probably gonna block it and create lots of shadows and stuff on it. So this is what it look, will look like in all of its uh, bright daylight glory. Um, and then obviously the animators are gonna come in pretty soon start playing around with uh, some projection mapping, which is going to be crazy. Um, and yeah, I guess we hand it over to them and see what they come up with. Thank you. 
for the past nine years, painting the main stage, um, usually with a bunch of different artists. Me and Zookeeper did this year's one, and we're um, great. My first DJ set on vinyl, um, in front of anyone. And, um, a few technical issues, but we'll try and get this going. We're going to have a bit of fun in Sabo. It's going to be very chill, boogie, um, into some party tracks. So, let's do this. That was an epic eight days at Mushroom Valley. Uh, we're pretty pumped. Sammy and I are gonna head up north now. Sorry, wait, where are we going? We're going down south. Yeah. We're gonna go to the Keppels um, and we're towing Sammy's boat. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna go and live on this bad boy for a few days. So more fun ahead. Hey, let's go. Ahoy, we made it to Yapoon. We're heading out that way and we're gonna jet probably through some crappy weather for the next hour. And what's the boat's name, Sammy? Wishful. 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 It's a, a 1983 Mustang, uh, half cab. She's uh, old but faithful. Faithful it is. So yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a mission to cross over and then we'll hopefully get to some good weather. So off we go, let's launch this puppy. Well, here we are at North Keppel Island. That's our campsite behind us. Made it over, it was pretty rough, but look where we've arrived. We're protected as all buggery from the swell. That's our little boat just there. Campsite behind us. We're gonna go for a wander down here. My bucket list is to catch a big GT, a giant trevally on the edge of these rocks here. Um, probably won't happen, but maybe in a few minutes you'll see it, hey? Lure, mate. Big lure, mate. Big lure for it. Look at this purple oh. devil. It's going off! I just got a trevally. Sammy just lost a bit. He's on now. I think he might have a trevally. Eww! Eww! Is he dece? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes! It's a, bring it around this way. Yeah, it's a decent one. Oh, it's a GT! Yeah, bro! Ah. I know yeah, you wanted up. one, but dude, hold him up for it. Yes. How good's that, mate? Well done, Sammy. Sambo. Yeah, boy. Got myself my first GT. What do you reckon? So stoked, man. Woo! First cast on the popper. Off he goes. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. Yeah, little Trevi. Sammy, what you got? Mad, we'll get these back. We don't really want to eat them too much. Love a little uh, mackerel or something, but this is it. <laughs> That's so brutal. <laughs> As you guys are aware, I've got this in my thumb. And uh, Joel is just swimming out to the boat right on sunset to um, try and get, grab the first aid kit. Bloody legend! Yeah, look, it is probably a little bit sharky out there, mate. We did just see some bait. <laughs> Well done, Sammy. <laughs> well done, man. Oh, good morning. Welcome to paradise. Sammy's just getting out of bed. I'm making some coffees. Boat's still there, didn't drift away. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go out. I'm actually gonna have my first spear dive today. Sammy's a bloody professional over here. So he's gonna Underwater teach me fishing. the ways. Gonna love it. I've always thought spear fishing was um, cheating, but 
the more I've seen Sammy and his mates at work, the more I realize it's actually pretty damn sustainable if you're gonna eat fish. And I don't actually eat a huge amount of meat, so fish is a big part of my diet. So there's not many better ways to go out and actually get something that's gonna feed me and Sammy and our wives. It's gonna be pretty cool to take a skew full of fish home for a couple of months, excited. about 10 k's out of the Keppel um, and Sammy's floating around doing a couple of drops. I've been diving this morning but out here it's a bit sketchy. I'm a bit, a bit of a scaredy cat as a beginner so I'm just being Bodhi. Um, hopefully he's gonna get us a Spanish mackerel. That'd be bloody awesome. Yes, yeah, Sammy! Pretty what you got? Holy shit! And I got a GT here. Look at the size of it! Need a plus. Oh, look at the teeth on it. I hate these things. Sammy! Um, get him back in, man. <laughs> man. Let's get back into it, bro. So, we had a really good session. Um, as you saw, Sammy got that monster barracuda, and I got this little trevally. Trevally aren't known for being the best eating, um, but we're going to make tacos tonight out of it. Uh, and I think it'll taste pretty damn good in tacos, so yeah, just going to get it prepped and uh, fill it up. So, my man Jolie has filleted up the fish. And we've seasoned it with, what was it, a taco seasoning? Yeah, it was a fajita seasoning. Yeah. Bit of fajita seasoning on it, cooking up some veggies. And then we've got some uh, corn, corn's going in. Some onion, a little bit of garlic. All right, we're just gonna throw in the fish now. Well, Trevally, thank you, Trevally. We very much appreciate you. <laughs> this is looking bloody delicious. I mean, you can hardly tell that it's Trevally, like it's a nice light flesh fish. Bit of rocket, rocket. Oh, yeah. Living its best life, and now it's helping us live our best life. And let us know what you think. That's awesome. It's tasty. It, it just tastes like nice fresh fish. Well, it's the last day of the trip. And I thought I'd get up early, go for one last fish, and uh, watch this sunrise behind me. It's been an incredible two weeks. So nice to do a trip where you do a bit of work, you do some creative stuff, do a bit of leisure, catch up with good mates. Honestly, I'm so lucky. Even though it's been an awesome time, I'm pretty damn excited to go home, see Kate and the doggos. So we've got a seven hour journey ahead of us. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully there'll be more trips a bit like this before the end of the year. Pretty pumped on it. Thanks for watching.